Hello, people of the interwebs. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Croc 2 for Orgognica, although this is more like Gognica. I am Wandergirl 108. We've beaten one level. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome, whatever. And uh, now we're gonna go beat the other one so we can get the racing car wheel so we can get in the race. And this one is a. Yay! Yay! More minecarts! Whee! They get... Kinda... Fiddly. Here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. <laughs> all right. Um I'll be right back after I get all my stuff together. Hang on. All right, hello again, I'm back. Um, ahem. <clears throat> so, as I was saying in the last video, which was a week ago, I know, because I only upload once a week. There is a reason why I do that. Um, I can only record when I'm home, and I can be away from home for, like, months at a time, because, like, school and stuff, so I try to just keep it consistent. Anyway, as I was saying in the last video, I did kind of figure out, um, ooh, exploit. Now I'll just send another one to see if there's anything important that I missed. Does it look like it? Apart from crystals. Health. But I'm already full. Yeah, I'm already full on that. So, as I've been trying to say, I did kind of figure it out. I was kind of fiddling with some computer files to try to make them easier to sort because I forgot to tell the thing that I wasn't playing Threads of Fate. So, the file names had Threads of Fate in it. I was trying to fix that. And, um, even though I managed to, like, fix it enough that it showed up on the thing again, because there is something you can't change the name of uh, if you, uh don't want to like oops if you want the thing to be playable um I didn't know that because I don't computer really I, I really don't okay the trick here is you have to get some bomb boxes and throw them at this hey I totally hit that Okay, and it goes off, and then I believe it, uh, comes back around. Anyway. So, yeah, I was fiddling with some computer files, which I shouldn't have done. I did not fiddle with, um, the third, fourth, or fifth islands. The computer files for that. So... I think this thing only moves if it's, like, in sight. Oh, this, this camera. There it is. Now pick up the box, Croc. Pick up the... Thank you. Hey, crate. Move. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> I did not fiddle with the 3rd, 4th, and 5th islands for Croc 1, and so I was able to upload the edited footage. How did that not do anything? Like, I, I know it takes more than one bomb box to open the crate, but... So yeah, anyway, bottom line, the problem was not that the videos were too long. So I can actually upload 
edited footage of, like, videos that are an hour or longer. But, while that is possible, it also takes a lot of time, and I was never good at this part. Gah! Croc, grab the damn- Ah! hate this game. I, I don't hate this game. I don't. <clears throat> so, anyway, yes, I can upload long videos, but those take a lot of time, and, um, I don't always have- Oh! Oh, it counts! It counts if you, um, did it before. That's nice. That is nice. I- I like that. I like that. I have a wheel now. That's nice. Just need one more. <clears throat> so it takes a long time to upload long videos. So I'm not going to do it anyway. Even though I can. So I'm still gonna keep these videos kind of short-ish. On the short side, compared to, like, an hour or more. I'm not gonna do one world at a time, is what I'm saying. Even though I've realized that technically I can. I still don't know why those computers do not compute with me. <laughs> but, like, I don't know why there's this one particular file you can't rename or it will mess everything up. I don't know. I should probably, like, get a lesson on this sometime. It'd probably be very helpful. But, um, you know, for the most part, Having a Mac means you don't need to, so... Oh boy. Ow. Ouch. Oh! Oh, oh phew! <laughs> oh. Do they have to make things frustrating? Okay. Another minecart. Good. Remember this kind of. <sighs> Minecart levels can be very frustrating. <clears throat> Incidentally, I think the bonus world for this, or the bonus level for this world, is a minecart level. Which is just lovely. Oh, this part. Okay, this part's fun. Um, if I can just... Okay, see this jerk here? <laughs> we just switch. He goes the other way and he blows up the blockage so that we can go forward. <laughs> I don't know, I find that funny. Crystal number three. Let me just blow up this jerk. So we can move on. It's fun. I think we do that again, but it gets trickier. Ah, oh, well. Yep. Remember how this works. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Can't remember what this lever does. Oh, it does that. Okay, that's good. That is a good thing that I just did. Um. Oh, I can just jump over him. Okay. Not that that's easy. Ha! Ouch. Jerk. Does he respawn? I feel like he 
does or should or something. Oh, okay, maybe not. I thought there was like another blockage on this doorway. <sighs> oh, 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 this. This is just fantastic. This thing that was perfectly fine the way it was in Croc 1 until they had to make it fiddly and ruin it. Completely. Because they're jerks. Oh, oh, and you can't go this way around the. Can I move, please? Thank you. We have all four wheels, by the way, so we're all set there. Just need to get out of here and get the golden gobo. I think the one crystal I'm missing, I missed at, like, the very start, so... Yep, not gonna get them all. Okay. And there's the warp right there. Okay, alright. Making good time. I could probably do the race level in this video as well. If I don't screw this up. Oh. Game. All right, this is how you're gonna play it. So be it. Ah, no. Oh. Oh, and, and now I have to go. Oh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna die, and then I'm going to, um, get back there. So... Dying montage. I'll cut back in when I f get to the Golden Gobo again. Not that I shouldn't be able to- ugh. Screw you, game. This is how much you can go screw yourself. I'm just jumping off the cliff repeatedly until I get a game over. Because that makes sense. Okay, so. I will be right back. Take three. Uh, uh, no! Take four, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. Take four. Controls in this game. Okay, the sidestep button is still a thing. Oh, come on! You know, what really makes it unfair is that you only get one shot at it every time you get the five crystals. Getting the five crystals means you can get one shot to solve all the puzzles to get the golden gobo. One shot. It is so unfair, I... 
<sighs> BRB. All right, take five. This recording has now gone on longer than an hour. Oh, by the way, apparently, if you get all five colored crystals and open up the warp, but then you die before you get to it, it still vanishes. It's like Crash 2, only bad. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna do the race and I'm gonna come back for that golden gobo later. That'll be the start of the next video. Because this is... Uh, it's not a rage quit. Not a rage quit. I'm just... Kind of frustrated and need to do something else for a bit, that's all. This is not a rage quit. Yeah, I got your wheels, buddy. <laughs> so of course, now we have to do the race for them. Which is just fine. Race day at Gold Rock, ooh. I seem to recall having a lot of trouble with this level as well. Oh boy. First things first. Golden Go Ball. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh well. Hey, hey, can I? Thank you. Okay, so I think I'm gonna lose this time, but that's fine. As long as one time I get the golden gobo, that's... That's the more important thing in the end. how much fun I'm having. I don't understand how anyone could think this game is an improvement on the first. I just, I don't understand. It makes no sense. <laughs> you know how in the last video I said that, uh, you know, now that we're done with Roger Red Ant, the hard part's over. It's all good now. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I have to take that back. Well, how many times did I try, um, Yay. How many times did I try, um, the Roger Red Ant level? Hmm? Does anyone know? Because this has been six tries through the mine, counting the time I died before I got to the wharf and it just vanished on me. I guess how difficult a thing is should be measured by how many tries it takes case at least so does anyone know how to win this race by the way I seem to recall having a lot of struggle winning this race okay fine try again
hold down X to move, which is nice, I guess. Okay. One thing I've learned with, like, racing against mobs is, um, or racing against AI, I guess. Go in a straight along- as many straight lines as possible. Or as few straight lines as possible, actually. Move only in straight lines. Ah! And go in as few as possible. Okay, since I haven't technically beaten this level, I don't have the option of starting over. Isn't that great? How did I glitch into that wall? Seriously. Okay, so. Racing. Move only in straight lines and go in as few as possible. Because the AI is probably going to try to stay centered on the track. So it's going to be, like, wobbling every here and there. And that'll make... That means it'll be going... They'll be going a greater distance than you. Collectively. I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm... I don't know. Hey! Jerk! Guess what? Oh, no? Yes? No? Maybe so? Alright. Uh, game? I'm no longer in fourth place. I'm now in third place. Could you? Ah, there we go. Ah, these walls. Probably finish in second. Nope, guess not. Better though. If I hadn't had that incident with the walls. Okay, this time I'm gonna get it. No way I'm not. Ugh. that our car is red. Red is my favorite color. So I like that ours is the red one. Of course, the only, we're the only ones with a not red driver. <laughs> Buddy. Now there's just the one guy up front. I have more than a whole lap to catch him. I feel like the camera is getting kind of shaky for some reason. game. Don't screw me over here.
Hey, there you are. Hey! Game! That wasn't fair. That was bull. As was that. Come on, game. Stop bouncing me off the walls! Oh my god! Come on! I'm not gonna end the video until I win this. It was nice in the boat race level because there was a shortcut that the uh, AI didn't take. So... In this race, unlike in many races on video games, you have to be very careful not to hit either of the sides because if you do, you will get caught, you will glitch, you will lose. Or it will bounce you across the entire track. Seriously, I I've never seen a race this poorly made. or is the camera freaking out for everyone? Stay on the inside edge of turns. Cut corners wherever you can. The less distance you go, the better. This time now. This close. Better than last time. Gonna have to count for something. Splash. Huh. Come on, game. Quit screwing with me. Quit it! Oh my god, I had that! That was baloney! <sighs> Come on! I had that! That- Everyone saw that! That was bull, right there. That was ridiculous. Now I'm mad. Oh, the hard part's over now that we've finished with Roger Red Ant. Nope. Nope, the game just gets worse. I mean, I'm all for a challenge of games. I'm not saying otherwise. But, I mean, a challenge because it requires, like, intellect? Not a challenge because the controls are messed up. The kind of challenge where you actually have to think about something for more than two seconds. I like that. That's good. That is a good thing. That doesn't happen much anymore. Ugh! Oh, for These walls! Ugh! Well, I've already lost. So as I was saying, if something is 
borderline unplayably bad just because of the way it's made, that that's not a good game no matter how creative it is. There are different kinds of challenges in gaming. Puzzle platformer challenges, great challenges are puzzles that you really have to think about. Things you really have to work with, like... Mist. Mist is a challenging game because you actually have to use your brain to figure puzzles out. That's really the only thing that made it a good game, but... And it was a computer game, so... Still, like... Recently, well, today, as of when I'm recording this, uh, Yahtzee and Gabe did a Let's Play slash Drown Out of a Mist remake where there are hints built into the game. Like, you can access hints from inside the game as to what you're supposed to do. And they give you a flashlight. A flashlight. In Mist. Where some of the puzzles are figure out how to turn the lights on, it's too dark to see. Am I getting crystals? Yes, apparently. I guess for every Dantini I pass, I get crystals? Interesting. So anyway, yeah, challenging because you can't figure it out because it requires thought is a good challenge. Challenging because it's a complex, you know, platforming thing, or it requires precision even. Precision's good, you know, if, to a point. You know, if it doesn't matter how precise you are at jumping, it's not really much of a platformer, is it? But when the game mechanics are just so bad that they make up 90% of the game challenge, that's just, that's not good. No one can say that that's good. No one can say that these controls are any good. No one can say this race isn't poorly made. I don't understand how anyone could possibly say that this is in any way an improvement on Croc 1, because it is not. Croc 1 is better than Croc 2 in every way. And again, if you disagree, please explain yourself in the comments, because I want to know what the heck is going through your head. What are you thinking? As I was saying about the Mist remake, um... They made it so that you can walk around FPS style, you get full 360 viewing, and it just breaks a lot of things about the game, the original. That game gave me nightmares as a little kid. <laughs> well, it was really, well, I'd, I'd call it funny if it wasn't so bad. Um, Yahtzee and Gabe, they actually looked up, they went to the hint section guide thing that was shoehorned into the game. A game that, when it was made, not only were there no hint guides, there were no online walkthroughs, there was nothing to look up, no way of knowing what the heck you're supposed to do except figuring it out with your own brain. Which is rewarding when you do figure it out. Anyway, Yassi and Gabe are accessing the hints. Okay, this glitch is... Is there a backup button? Sheesh. Okay. They were accessing the hints, and they still couldn't figure out what they were supposed to do. Mainly because they wouldn't even read the hints, because the hints were actually hints, not shoving the answer in your face. Incredibly disappointed in them. See, there are modern gamers who say that they realize that mod most modern games are bad, and that they're all simplistic you know, uber-realistic boredom fests. 
all like gritty and linear and boring. And that they miss the charm and challenge and fun of the old games. But then they go and buy the modern games they say they know are bad. And then there are gamers who say those things and then actually practice what they preach and don't touch those bad modern games and, you know, cherish the old games for what they are. I always thought Yahtzee was the latter. Apparently he's the former. And that was very disappointing. I've never been more disappointed than someone in my life. And I'm just saying this on the internet because I have nothing else to say right now because this game is screwing me over. Thanks for sucking, game. me off the gosh dang walls. way too difficult. But I did it! Yes, it certainly is. Okay, so! <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching if you did. And, uh, hopefully... Next time I see you, I will be obtaining that golden gobo that I couldn't get before. So yeah, thank you so much for watching if you did, and I will see you next time.